Okay, right, we've just left uh, Deals Gap, We're running down 129 in the opposite direction toward Robbinsville. Thought I'd come on and do a little bit of video. Had an interesting ride on the Dragon. Uh, coming back, uh, the guy had uh, his bike fallen over on him. We've stopped and helped pick him up. And, uh, it's been a been a nice day. I helped a was an Iron Horse and. Uh, Met a, met a nice gentleman who, uh, on a Harley, he'd been up for a few days, and he had borrowed a trailer, single bike trailer, and uh, he had a Harley lowrider to uh, load it up, and he wasn't quite sure. He was a little bit short of stature, and he, he was a little bit afraid his legs would not reach all the way down going up the ramp, and he might tip over, so I helped him load it, and helped him strap it down, Seemed like a really nice guy. He was headed back to Florida. Said it was going to take him 11 hours to get to Tampa. So that's quite a ride. But uh, he seemed to like this place. Come all the way up here from Tampa to, to ride, and a lot of people travel a long way. Uh, we were Dills Gap just to, leaving Dills Gap just a minute ago. I saw some guys taking taking selfies and a group selfies, and uh, they were all speaking Italian. And uh, I must have been six of them, and they're all on adventure bikes, all from Florida, according to the tags. And uh, Susan seemed to think that maybe they rented those bikes there, who knows. But uh, they, were, uh, they, they were having a great time getting ready to go into the store. <clears throat> I'm sure it's probably spend way too much money. I try to avoid going in the store, because it tends, I tend to spend money when I go into a store. So I try to avoid it. I don't know what's down that little road there. Someday, maybe, I'll go down there. <clears throat> so, damn, off to our left. One of them, power station. A lot of power stations around here. TVA came through here and gave everybody jobs in the 30s and uh, built all this stuff. I mentioned it before, parts of these. Parts of both dams were used in the filming of The Fugitive with uh, Harrison Ford. Whew. There we go. Tapico Lodge, a lodge, excuse me. It's a nice place to come. Uh, you got a nice restaurant in there. You come out and sit on the porch and watch the kayakers when they come through. Uh, on the weekends, some weekends, they let a water out from the dam up above and the water gets high enough to where they can kayak on that little stretch of river right there. It's a real nice piece of river. Not so much recreational uh, like, uh, at the, like over at the uh, Nantahala Gorge because uh, the, river, the river doesn't flow enough water for rafts or things like that, group rides. But individual kayakers, pretty cool. Looks like the kudzu is continuing to take over everything. I guess we're lucky we still have a road here to ride across. I bet they, I bet the kudzu sends tendrils out every night and they get run over every day. Keep trying, kudzu. You might make it. You can just tell if people weren't on this road for about two weeks, this road would be covered with kudzu. This is a nice road. This is 55. This will get you back to Robbinsville pretty quick. You can also go back 28. Right now there's a, a lot of construction. They're widening the road. They're having to dig into the mountain on each side and it's Kind of move a lot of dirt, put a lot of reinforcements in, so it's taking taking a long time. It'll probably be this time next year before they get even close to finished on what they're doing. Be real nice once they do. Be uh, really nice up and down the mountain. Ever had a bee run up your pant leg? I had one half, I was on the dragon coming back. It felt something, something hit me. And uh, 
got off and smacked my leg where I felt it on me and dropped out a little baby bumblebee. I'm not allergic, so I'm not really allergic to anything that I know of. Although I used to get uh, my eyes used to, I used to get floaters in your eyes. You know what floaters are? Look like little clouds floating across. I used to get that when I was playing uh, basketball as a teenager in the in the gym at our school, and the doctor said it was just dust. He said I was just getting a react. It was a my eyes re reaction to the dust in the air. But I haven't had that problem in forever. I haven't been in a gymnasium in a long time. Well, I'll knock it off, save a little bit for Yellow Creek Road. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.